Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of New Save File. I can't remember what I did last time, but it obviously can't have been good because, oh, we played as Mammon and it was oof. That character is rough, man. Anyways, I'm going to play as Job this time around. I want to try and unlock Tainted Job this time because he's a really fun character that for some reason I haven't unlocked yet. And yeah, I really like Tainted Job, so we're going to go for that. And I'm going to try and remember the best I can to actually go to the beast. Uh, my, my brain don't work so good. Um, so <laughs> it's been a, a little difficult for me to remember to go to the beast, so I'll try and remind myself. Um... <clears throat> but yeah, I'm in, I'm in a really good mood at the moment because, uh, as some of you may already know from... Is this the thing that's terrible? Extra damage in uncleared rooms, you will occasionally summon friendly calm mines and then leave trails of sporadic slippery brown creep. Yeah, this, this item is awful. I'm not taking it. Um... Essentially, the item just makes it so that you get slippery brown creep everywhere that affects you. So you end up just slipping around everywhere. The damage up early on is super, super nice, but the downside it gives is just not worth it. Gonna go straight for this library here that should give us bookworm right off the bat. Um, ooh, hello. Um, mimics books, touch a book pedestal to mimic it, cycle through books. Ooh, awesome. So if we grab that. Oh, this is so cool. Uh, Gain a bomb gives a bomb synergy for the rest of the floor. And gives the effect of a technology item. What is this battery here? So, oh, this is so fucking cool. So I can use whatever book I want. Now, is it always going to be a 12-room charge? Let's go with a tech book for now. Oh, that was the bomb book. Whoopsie. Okay, it doesn't use all the charges. I see. Oh. Okay. I absolutely love this as a modded item. This is one of the best books ever. So I get to keep the book that I started with and take on others. One thing I did notice, though, I didn't get Bookworm. I don't think, right? Well, that was lucky. Um, yeah, kind of, kind of weird that I didn't get Bookworm. I guess I should have taken that book last. I guess now I just can't get Bookworm. Okay, this is... Slightly concerning. I need both of you to go down at once, please. Ah, that was close. Okay. <laughs> yeah, flat stone here is fine. But yeah, I didn't get bookworm there, which is slightly weird. Uh, but eh, it is what it is. I got something a little bit better, I suppose. So can I use this at a three-room charge? I can. That's so cool that it like it it charges up like as a 12-room charge, but then it just takes the charges it needs for each active. I really, really love this as an idea for an item. This this is top tier modded ideas right here. This is some this is some real S tier taste the difference sort of shit. Love it. Absolutely love it. Now, the problem's gonna be remembering how many charges each book goddamn requires, because I'm not gonna be able to remember that very easily. Also got my little dude here. I'm I'm pretty happy to have him around those up and see if we get anything so yeah now i can go in this room and then use this book again but the technology book is going to be one that i want to use oh wait i think the technology book only affects you for the room so maybe that's something that i suppose i could save multiple charges and use multiple books in one room oh oh the possibilities here i could like save a bunch of books and use a bunch of books in my boss room i love this idea also this this, this guy is crazy this little revenant dude we get a key here so we can go down. Um, of course, before we do that, range down's fine. I'm going to go and grab some more keys from that room back there. As for the question of the day today, I have one in mind already. Uh, what's a what's a song that you are, like, really nostalgic for? Like, what is a song that instantly just brings you back to a simpler time? Because uh, I was just thinking about mine... Um, and it's definitely, this is going to sound like a little bit of a weird one. And for anyone that doesn't understand where it's from, then more, more so indeed. But um, mine is a song called Neapolitan Dreams. And it's a dubstep remix of it. And I'm really not a dubstep fan. Like, I, I wouldn't say at all. There's some of it that's all right. God damn this eternal D10. Um, but for the most part, it's not really the sort of music I tend to listen to. But... This song was used, some of you may already know it, this song was used by um, a YouTuber called The Syndicate Project in a lot of his uh, early like Minecraft and Call of Duty videos and like streams and stuff and got damn every single time I put that song on it just brings me back to like 
when when I was a kid and there was I had like literally zero problems. <laughs> Life was like cushy, easy. It just instantly brings me back to that time. I'm gonna get hit by these guys, aren't I? I wish the peach creep guy was a, a little bit more useful, but unfortunately, alas, it is not. Um. Yeah, it just instantly brings me back to like a much, much simpler time. And oh my god, I, I, I really just enjoy listening to that music just for that sole reason, because it's so good. Also, I've taken a lot of unnecessary damage here. I'll be honest, I think I got hit by one of the champion shots and just didn't really see it coming. There's a lot of shots the same colour as my own tears on the screen at the moment from me and Peach Creep and the enemies. It's getting a little confusing to keep, uh, to keep track of. I definitely want to kill you first. These flies might hit me. I'm just going to have to accept it if they do. Okay, Peach Creep, you got one of them. Nice. I guess I'll just bomb through to get this. I'm taking pills right now. I am upset about the fact that I took that pill. Very upset indeed. So, question I've got here is, so this is Bomb Book. This is Tech Book. This is Tear Up Book. What the hell's this book? What does this book do? Mum's Razor. I'm guessing it just gives you a random one. When you pick it up. Is this the one that gives you a mum item for the for the entire floor? I think it is. Yeah, it's the... Oh, no, no. It's still just a room. Okay. Not the best. Kind of a bit of a waste there. Good hit on him. Honestly, this boss is good for Peach Creep. Ow. Bad hit. We'll go Angel Deal here. Our HP isn't particularly good. And we'll take you out nice and easy. But the Hemolacria shots are a little bit distressing, but we can deal. And we get... That's actually pretty good. But it brings our look back into the positive and a puzzle piece is going to be good going forward. Right. Let's go. Sadly, items so far haven't been winners. That 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 look upgrade's like the best thing we've got thus far. Like Flatstone, it's got some interesting synergies, but it, it doesn't do much on its own. So like a tiny bit of AoE damage. Um, of course, the box is obviously pretty useless. Um, we didn't even get a good trinket out of it. Kind of the best thing you get out of box is the trinket, so we didn't get a good trinket. So you know what? Trim's taking too long. Let's get a fire rate increase going. So sad I lost fire rate on this guy. That's very upsetting. Very upsetting indeed. Another range down. Cheers, game. Okay, everything blows up. Good, 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 good. Apart from you, apparently, you managed to uh, survive that onslaught, and we get our next puzzle piece very, very quickly. But yeah, as I was saying at the start of the episode, I'm in a very good mood, because as I mentioned in the last episode, my Isaac Four Souls arrived, and ooh, I've just been having... Like, I spent basically all of yesterday just sorting through all the cards and looking through them all, and then this morning, I set up... There's like a new little solitaire rule set in the game, so I set up a solitaire game and played a solitaire game, and it was a lot of fun. And I'm just, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Really, really enjoying it. In this next big room over here, I'll uh, maybe give myself a tech item. Because it can give you, like, tech... Like, all, pretty much all the tech items are pretty good. Unless it can give you, like, Robo Baby. Pretty much all of the tech items are going to be good. Good, good. Here, we pop this in here. Get, yeah, we got tech X for this room. Obviously, this would have been better for the boss. Yeah, I think this book normally would give you it for the floor, but because of the nature of the book, being able to hold multiple, it just gives you it for the room instead, which is kind of understandable. Um, yeah, I'll take this. It's a few extra rooms for us to do. Oh god, oh my lord. That guy, that guy moved and grooved, holy hell. Okay, this has become a rather difficult room slash run because of our uh, now lower tier rate and very low damage. Oh my goodness. I'm just not killing stuff anywhere near as quickly as I ought to be. Like this this dude, I, I kind of expected to be dead very, very fast and it took a long while. Another tier's down. Really selling it to me at the moment. We've got an, a free arcade here with two very, very, very good items in them. 
Unfortunately, not ones that I can afford currently. Um, right, where do we think the room is? Yes! I was going to say, it's really only worth buying the item if you end up actually getting the red room. So I'm very, very glad, uh, glad that I managed to get it. Even this guy takes way too long to kill. Peach creep can do some good damage. It's just so hard to get peach creep to even hit. There's our next puzzle piece. Unfortunately, the item we got ain't too good. Um, we got fate. I quite like fate. Um, we get marrow, which is pretty good. Okay, we got transforms, bombs, summons, beast, opens. Yeah, we'll just take that for now. I'm gonna bomb these two. Fortunate. Right, let's go and do some donating. I think the Eternal Heart would get taken last, so we'd have to worry about that. But this arcade speaks to me. I don't think I'll lose this Burn Heart here, right? Okay, no, I don't. Good. So the money here is really good, but I'm also hoping that we can get some extra stuff alongside this. So we're up to 10 cent now, so we at least get two players. Okay. One more heart in the machine. Hoping we get a blood uh, blood bag on our last two players here. It's not always the way, sadly. We'll go for this. Come on. Yes. Okay. Thank goodness that paid off. Huge fire rate increase there for us. Very good. Very nice. We'll see where we lie after the boss in terms of remaining HP available. Okay. We'll use our tech book here, I think. Yeah, so we, we unfortunately we can get Robo Baby. That was a very good bomb set. You managed to steal that Eternal Heart away from me with some absolute magic there. Dude, again, I hit, oh, I shot the bomb to move it away from me and somehow managed to shoot it directly into myself. Oh my God, this is abysmal, abysmal play. I've lost an Eternal Heart and a Burn Heart in this fight. That is not on, not on at all. I am depressed at the prospect of this. But yeah, the fact that we can get Robo Baby makes this book a lot worse. It's still good. Got HP up there at least, and we did get an Angel deal, which I'm happy for. Uh, this is incredibly good right now. This is an absolutely ludicrous damage up for us uh, because of the character we're playing as. Uh, very good. Very nice. Yeah. Basically, normally this is like kind of meh. Lovely. Because normally you're not really getting um, too much damage out of it. You're normally going to get like, what, like one or two. Whereas... Wait, what? We've got 9.62 now. It should set our damage to 7, but I think it gave us 7 damage. So we are we are really cooking now. Like, we have we have literally, like, tripled our strength now. Because we keep the really fast fire rate. But now we also have the ability of um, having exceedingly high damage. This is real good. Real, real good. That was one of the better angel items we could have got, barring, like, Sacred Heart, so. All the health I lost there, it was not in vain. I am okay with the outcome of all of that. Good, good. Pill there as well. Range down again. Tears down again. I also forgot I've got flight. Right, let's save up our book charges and use them for the boss. We do not have spectral, though. Oh my god, yeah, I feel so, so much stronger now. This is crazy. I was... Job starts off so weak and this item is just absurd on him. Very good stuff. I'm hoping we can get a, a synergy going with our... Um, with our good old... Skipping stone, but we'll see. 
Pentacles. Now, the, the description you saw there, the EID description wasn't working for this. I'm hoping the item still functions properly. Honestly, um, I've spoken to the developer. I have absolutely no idea why my EID descriptions aren't working for that mod. It seems to be some sort of incompatibility, but I'm not sure what it is. I don't know. Um, I'm just hoping the item still functions. What it should do is when we pick up an item, it should give us... A, a, uh, it has like a 50% chance to give us a copy of that item as a Lemmigate and Wisp. So it's going to be a pretty noticeable effect when it happens and when it doesn't. Now just plowing through here. Right, so what we can do here is we can go boom and boom. Yeah, that's so cool. We can use two books in one go. I love that. Yeah, technology for this whole boss fight. Love that. That's really good too. Even more damage. Small tier size, but it's okay. Oh, and we did, we did indeed get a uh, lemme get and wisp there, so that item is functioning correctly. Good to know. Small rock things, damage wise, things are really, really looking good. Oh, we got, we got double um, small rock as well. We got a lemme get and wisp of small rock too, so that's why we're, we got a pretty huge speed down there. So we got extra damage and extra fire rate. So we are get, we have got really lucky with our uh, Pentacles so far. I think Pentacles is an absolutely fantastic item. I have no idea why it's quality one. I think it should be quality three. I know that qualities don't actually mean much, but yeah, um, I think it should definitely be, be a bit higher on there because it just gives you like let me get them with obviously are short lived. They're not going to stay around forever, but. It gives you the ability to double uh, stat items and certain items that are just insanely good when doubled. Like insanely so. Keep moving through. Planetarium was not expecting that. Apparently I skipped an item room at some point. I genuinely have no idea when. But it all worked out and we got Uranus. Wow, okay. Okay, so yeah, I skipped an item room at some point. I have absolutely no idea when that was. But this is going to be good. We're going to be freezing up every single enemy in the place. Love it. Absolutely love it. I love the little bouncing icicles. They look really cool. Yeah, things are, things are really looking good for us right now. I have some very, very good items. I guess I can go in here. It's only going to cost me half a thingy heart. I wonder if having it full charged makes any difference to what it does with the book. Oh, that was just me walking directly into an enemy right there. Nothing else to say apart from that was dumb. So, let's... Um go with that. Everything's dead. Oh, no key. I would like a key, please. Do you like Kina Palada? Getting caught in the rain. Vibrant Bulb doesn't really work for us because we're using half charges so much. more bombs. Not really what we're looking for, but thank you. Also, I guess I could use the same book multiple times too, which is probably an even better idea. Um, I'll come back for you. I want, I want to drop you in a boss room. Come on, game. Give me a key. Oh, there's a golden key in this room. That's technically what I said, so... Really? They didn't blow up because I turned them into ice. That isn't how this was meant to go. All dead? No. All dead? No. So, yeah, let me just try this. 
Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, I'll probably be doing that on the beast fight. I can literally just use the same book multiple times. That's awesome. I can get absolutely ludicrous fire rate. Or I could get like, multiple tech items if I wanted. But I think the ludicrous fire rate is the most fun. More HP up. I mean, I don't want devil deals, but I've got HP and it's there, so I'll check it. Double nine lives is is kind of insane. I'm going to take double nine lives, but mainly because, the main reason I'm doing this is because with nine lives, um, you respawn in, like, in the fight again, in, on beat, on the beast fight, so, like, it doesn't make you restart the whole fight, so it makes the beast fight real easy. We could smelt this trinket for 15, um... I think what I want to do is I want to drop this trinket in here. Milk is, of course, whatever. Rainbow Penny. Use a random penny trinket effect when picking up a coin. Effects will stack if you have the original penny trinket being mimicked. Okay. Um, yes, I think we'll smelt that. And then we'll go and grab extension cable and hold that. I think extension cable with, with all the little fellas we got. Also, we got double milk right now. Okay. Technically, I could go and now smell extension cable as well, which I think I kind of want to do. I think with peach creep, extension cable is really good right now. Also, this looks secret roomy to me, right? I don't know if you guys feel this too. Ah, damn. Between two fires, it always gets my mind thinking. Ah, unfortunately, I lost one of my small rocks. Black tooth. We'll do this because one of these will be gold. So I think we smelt this now. Yeah, but for, for some reason with the um, reflected trinkets, one of them always comes out gold. And then we... This is it's kind of tricky, this. We've got so many trinkets available. I want to take extension cable here. I guess I'll see how much money I get at the end of the floor if I want to do another smelt. Because I kind of would like to. Open Mind is a good one to smelt. Car battery is... Okay, the, the, I'm gonna I'm gonna bomb these because I think I'm gonna buy car battery. I realize that my donation machine needs to be filled at some point. Oh, that shit me up. Then I completely forgot that I had that penny trinket, and I was like, if it, I thought it like teleported me to an error room or something, I was gonna be so fucking mad. This game sometimes is a troll. But this time, it wasn't so bad. It's just made me waste a lot of time. You watch it teleport me again. Because obviously, Chaos Penny is one of the pennies in there. Yeah, take car battery. Um, I don't know exactly how this is going to work. But I hope it's going to work the way I think it is. It's just going to use these actives twice. And it's going to give us a lot more choice. This is really, really a cool active item. I, I love this. Even if I'm just going to keep using our Book of Despair... The fact that we can stack charges and use multiple in one room is outrageously good. Um, right, we are moving on down. There's a trinket left behind in that item room. Yes? Yes. I believe so. So... I, I want to, basically, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get a full charge and use my active as many times as I can and see what fire rate I get to with car battery. It should be absolutely ludicrous levels. And then if we get hit with milk as well, even more ludicrous. This looks secret roomy to me. It's not, sadly. So yeah, let's just go boom, boom. Yeah, we can get up to 15 fire rate. Which I don't think is, is car battery level, I'll be honest. 
That was a really bad hit there. With milk, we can get up to 19. Oh, look at that. Absolute stream of shots. We lost 14 fire rate upon going to the other room. But that's going to be real heckin' good on the beast. Like, real heckin' good. Ooh, hello, enemy. You are intriguing to grab. Kind of speeding through these rooms right now. Ooh, hello. I see you, mister. Thank you for my fool card. Boop, boop. See if we can make our way in the right direction somehow. Shenanigans going on with all the enemies here. Another golden key. Don't mind if I diddly do. Good, good, good. Right. We've unfortunately come the wrong way here. We've actually got a lot done as this guy, but Beast is one of the things that we don't have ticked off, so... Didn't realize we almost had a full... Completion mark set done as this guy. Don't know where I have and haven't been right now. Extra bomb. We still haven't found our last puzzle piece yet, which is kind of surprising. Would have thought that had come a little bit earlier. Normally they come kind of one after each other. But yeah, all, all we could like give ourselves a bunch of tech items. Or a bunch of bomb synergies. There's just a lot of possibilities with this. Oop, I lost. I think I lost a milk there. Yeah, I think I lost one of my milks. Damn, I was enjoying having extra milk. Hello, funky chest. Isaac's tomb? I was going to say a little bit late, but actually, if we can get the keys to afford to open all of these, we'll get one for every single uh, ascent floor, right? I think. We just need to get the keys to make it viable, because we have a golden key now, but we're not going to have a golden key every floor. Right now, we don't have the keys for this situation. Beautiful. Malform Penny. God damn it, Curse Penny! I haven't seen any other Penny effect trigger yet. How did I get Curse Penny twice? That's just evil. Also, I'm getting so many fucking random Penny drops. It's a bit ridiculous. I have no idea where I've been here. I don't remember any of these rooms. When did I when did I beat this room? Oh, okay, I see where we are now. I see where we are now. We went up here, right? And then up here? And then this way? There we go. Kind of interesting for the mini Isaacs. I don't think I need them though. Keys, please. Another library here. Which is, oh, wait. Actually, really good. Wait, we can get bomb book again? <laughs> okay. Here's another bomb book. Here's um, enemies into random champions. We got the poopopedia. And then on you spawns purgatory ghosts to attack enemies. We have a lot of books in our repertoire right now. This is so cool. This is, like, honestly one of my favorite active items I've ever seen for, like, um, this idea. I really think there should be more exploration with active items like this. There isn't, there's only, like, really, um, Book of Virtues that does this. And technically the D, um, D Infinity. Kind of. D Infinity doesn't really work the same way. Bob's brain in the shop? Why? Why is Bob's brain in the shop? I'm confused by that. I'll take buttermilk, but I might I might get rid of it. I've I've had it but I, I've had it before and it just tends to be a bit laggy. Oh my god. It goes fucking crazy with uh with the look at look at it drop. Whoa! It like proper jumps, it skates. Yeah, I've had it go a bit crazy before with uh, like how laggy it gets, so we'll see. We shall see. Excuse me. Definitely need more HP right now. Oh, 
I was like, why are some of these bouncing back? Then I remembered that's what the mushrooms do. Right, so, boss time. We're not in time for boss rush here, of course. Ow. Didn't lose my eternal heart, at least. Um, the Polaroid is fine, I guess. Okay, this is this is kind of a no-brainer here. Now, the problem I'm, th I'm facing here is, will I lose my eternal heart here? I don't know, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna gamble here, so I'm gonna take... I've got so many lives here that I'm gonna... Wait, 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 wait. I may have done this wrong. Fuck, I did this... Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it. Ah, oh, I immediately regret what I just did. So, basically there, I was like, oh, this is great. We can, um... We can get a bunch of different items here. And then I realized that, yeah, the first item you take just teleports you out of the devil deal. So I got a good item, but definitely not the best one. I should have taken the pact first um, and then anything else that I wanted. Um, and I lost my eternal heart for that as well. So all in all, not great. God damn, this item is pretty good. 26 cent there. Yeah, so a little bit of a misplay on that devil deal. That was a particularly good devil deal that I kind of whiffed. It is what it is. What's going on here exactly? Do I need to kill this donut fella? He's taking a while to kill. Oh lord. Don't like this guy. Tech zero for this room. Okay. This room is bad. I don't know how many room charges this this book takes, but I want to try it out. Okay, that one's a four room charge. Unfortunately, the invincible enemy made it a bit useless, but I got to test it out at least. That's all I really wanted. Okay. Ah. Honestly, Minus with, um... With extension cables, kind of crazy, because not only does the extension cable always stay on him, but each segment of his body is connected by the extension cable, meaning when he's over the top of enemies, he does extra damage. Ow. These enemies are just the worst. Great timing for you. Get this going. Fucking Cursed Penny, man! Ugh! Why would you not exclude Cursed Penny from this trinket, you absolute devil? And yeah, like, how come it just keeps triggering, like, nothing? I I've seen it trigger Butt Penny once, I've seen it trigger Flat Key- uh, Flat Penny once, and I've seen it trigger Cursed Penny four times. And that's all we've seen. It's like, come on now, game. I gotta be like this. None of you get to take flight. Not a good item. I'm just going to take the latter. I do not want to D8 my stats, I'll be honest. That seems like a terrible idea for my current situation. I can't remember what this, uh, this thing does. Is it like you charge for a certain amount of time and you release a monster or a shot? Something like that. A butt penny. We got a little joy... Capsule thing. But Penny again. Apparently there isn't many uh, many pennies for it to choose from, so we're getting the same ones over and over. Whoa, look at that freeze frame there. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Ah, 
Goodbye, birdie. Birdie, please land, thank you. And maybe taking Minos wasn't that bad of an idea. He seems pretty good. Ow. Lost a lot of health here I shouldn't have taken. Okay. Good to go. Good to go. I can't remember what floor. I think it's depths one that we left our trinket in the item room on. I'm going to have to check. Really shouldn't have opened those. Although, magic sword is double damage. This is tricky because I really, really like extension cable. Game. Why you like this? But magic sword has the potential to be so good for at least a while. I'm going to gamble on it and basically lose my mind when I instantly lose it in this room. Man, I couldn't have predicted that any better, could I? I did not know that guy was a split brimstone boy. I lost extension cable for nothing. <laughs> God damn it. How could you, game? It was so brutal. You took what I loved. You gave me temptation. Fucking cursed fucking penny. Oh my goodness. Stop teleporting me. Ugh. Infuriating. Cursed penny, how are you doing this this often? Who made this trinket and why did you put the weight on cursed penny to be so infuriatingly high? Oh my god, what the fuck is this? What is this room? How were you meant to dodge this? What was that? That was obscene. Not you again. This is too many sides, my guy. Also, you're not... You have so much health. You must be a tainted version of an enemy, because goddamn. Ugh, I'm frustrated. Oh, really? It was reflected? Didn't even nurse. I don't even care about the bombs themselves. Dude, what is it with all these goddamn scythe boys? I'm going to lose a life here. Almost definitely. Yep, there you go. I mean, at least we've got 17 of them, but... There's still going to be a really rough room. I don't even need to go in this room. God damn it, game. Why are you like this? You savage bastard of a game. God damn it. I'm so frustrated at that extension cable play. There was no reason for me to drop a trinket that was already good for one that could attempt, could essentially disappear at any moment. And then I literally called it about me getting hit in the very first room. God damn it. Just typical. Need to stop opening chests that aren't old chests. I need the keys for those. Yeah, 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 golden chests. B boo you. What the flippity flip hit me then? This was all going so well. Also, this is the floor with my, uh, my thingy on it, right? Yes, it is. Good. I could have smelted the fucking extension cable as well. Are you kidding me? Ah, I feel so much anguish right now. Okay, it's all forgiven. It's all forgiven. I get to, uh, I get to smelt cancer. And I guess this. And I guess I'll take this. So I can at least drop it. Okay, all has been forgiven. You gave me cancer. Noisy. Ow. <clears throat> it's a lot of noise. That's a lot of noise. This boy got godhead. It herms and everything. God damn it, get it away from me. Your furs feel rapid. Don't know how to feel about that. Your defense is raised. Whoa! This boy looking to steal my juice. 
Holy hell. Looking to steal my juice. It just keeps giving me soul hearts that I then lose on the next floor. It's kind of funny. Oh my god. Rooms like this are stressful. How did I get hit there? God damn it. It's never left. Why did I go left? Oh, dude. A hippity hoppity jumped out the hole I was hiding over. That's not funny. See, I lost him again. I, I I always lose the soul hearts it gives me. It's like, here's your reward. And I'm like, haha. You think I'm going to keep these for the boss fight that's coming up? Hell no. What kind of noise are these guys making right now? Crocodilias. Crocodilias. Holy shit. I feel like I'm playing pretty bad right now. Just gonna pretend I'm not. Easiest way. Wow! He actually yurted that bucket directly onto me. I'm losing lives very quickly here. See? Two more soul hearts ready to burn on the next floor. The gift that keeps on giving. I don't know if to keep this trinket or not for the boss, because it could be so bad or it could be amazing. I realize I'm not using my active at the minute as well, by the way. I'm I'm i I'm, I'm got I've got too good to use syndrome right now, really. I got hit there. God damn it. I've got too good to use Syndrome right now. I don't want to use it because I want to make sure I have full charge for the boss when I get to it. But even though the boss is really far away. It's just silly. I'm kind of stuck here right now. Eh. Okay. Another soul heart to burn on the next floor. Hell yes. Yeah, this enemy's an absolute nightmare. Luckily, he didn't actually do his on-death effects. Oh shit, I forgot that those shots split. You are equally as evil. Oh my lord, this guy is a lot of HP. I lost all my HP again. It's all going so well, people. Oh, this is gold now? I mean, I've got flight now, so this is actually kind of good now. Hell yeah. <laughs> Plus three damage. Nice. Considering I have flight now, the negative of it is just no longer a problem. Amazing. Amazing. One second. Da, 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 da. One sec. Right, let's keep this going. Yeah, so we're gonna be we're gonna be in a little bit of a bad spot in terms of like coming up to the boss um, with a good amount of HP, but we'll see how that goes when we get to it. Oh my god! The ice fields—it's lovely. It's beautiful, is what it is. Everything is ice. It's ice, ice, baby. But yeah, the, the, the main problem is going to be getting through Dogma, I think. I think after Dogma, we'll be in a pretty chill spot.
But that, getting to Dogma, oof. Rough. Oh, actually, I mean, we get there with some extra hearts. I'll be honest, we got, got there with some extra hearts. That's good. I think I want to go with one, at least one use of the tech book. Spicy keys, no thank you. Give me that boy. Awesome. They're going to gamble on one use of the tech book in the actual dogma fight here and hope we get like tech X or something. Ugh! Rubber baby, really? My dude, can you stop brimstoning, please? It's getting a little bit hard to keep a track of. Is he doing it again? No, he's not. Okay, good. I don't know why I'm uh, lagging so much in this fight right now, but the game does not like whatever's going on. Like, at all. It's getting worse and worse and worse. But, like, nothing's happening in the fight to... For it to be laggy, so I don't really know what's happening. Right, good, good. First phase is down. Like, I'm not even firing right now, and it's like hella, hella laggy. I don't know what the hell's going on here. I'm hoping it doesn't follow over to the uh, the beast fight, but this is bad. Really, really bad. Is there any errors in the console? Something to do with Little Heretic? Really? You're gonna do- oh. One of the, the- like, one of the things I have to say I hate most about fights like Dogma, um, especially like Dogma, oh god. I mean, I, I literally can't do anything with the game liking this much, I can barely move. Um, is stuff like this bullshit, this attack, is so frustrating just because you can't hit the guy for a solid, like, minute. And he can just do it as his first attack, it's like, why, dude? Why is that a thing that you can do? Can I, there should be a limit how much you can do this bullshit. I, I, I can't. I can't play like this. This is terrible. Really, that red poop deals damage to me, even though I'm the one that spawned it. Now, whoever designed that item, give me a, give me a breakdown on that logic. How did it come out of me, but it can still hurt me? I might die on this fight, but honestly, there's not much I can do. The game is so, so laggy right now. Like, insanely so. I'm playing at like 10 frames a second right now. I just, it's baffling what's, what's like happening here. I'm, I'm really unsure as to what's causing this. But there you go, we got through it, we got through it. Right, we've got our tears up but going. There you go. What the fuck? I didn't realize that this was the case here. My really? Really? Okay, this is great. I did not know that Flatstone in the beast fight ruined you this much. Wow. That ain't great. Ow. Yeah, I have to get incredibly close to hit him here. We're doing good damage, but still. I didn't realize Flatstone was worked so poorly in the beast fight. I don't think I've ever had it in the beast fight before. I must not have done, because I would I would have known about this otherwise and wouldn't have taken it. But alas I did not. Luckily it's not super hard to hit him. More just annoying than anything. Yes. 
second phase already. Good, good. Get in the lava, you dick. Get your ball of flies out of here. I'm sorry, but if I push the ball of flies into the lava, they should die, right? I'm not crazy in thinking that. We set up a little minefield of uh, flies here for the next boss, I guess. I'm going to slow you down immediately. Slow down your hot-headed heart. But fire firing up is abysmal. <laughs> I literally can't fire up. I've got to be like point-blank range to him. Nice one. I like the way my uh, Peach Creep is just kind of chilling in midair, unable to move. Ow. Should be okay here, though. I think we've got enough health to get this done. There's a red poop there that's very hidden that I'm definitely going to end up walking into. Wait, can I not destroy- I can't destroy the poo. Maybe I can coax him into it? My bad. Oh, there's another red poop up there that I literally can't see. Like, right here, look, next to me. That I- that, like, literally is invisible to me. They're gonna get me killed on the beast. Who designs an item this way? I'll be honest, like, wh what? Why? Why would you- do you know that it works? Surely you can't know that it works this way. No one would do that on purpose, right? That's just evil. Hey, you re you generate red poops when you get hit. <laughs> but you can still get hit by them. Lol. Oh, and by the way, you can't destroy them on the beast fight for some reason. Great. Now that one's inside him. How's that going to work? Okay, no, he can break it. Oh, there's another poop up there. Bullshit. I can't even fucking see them. There's poops. Look, look, look. If you look behind, behind this layer of stalagmites, there's a bunch of poops. You can't see them at the moment, but when we get back around there, dude, this is such horseshit with these poops. I mean, luckily I've got 13 lives, so I don't think I can lose this. This is still bullshit, though. I, it's like, I like the way it's like as well. Hey, you've been hit. You have been rewarded with the ability to hit yourself more. He's just taking permanent damage from that red red poo. Yeah, you see him? Look, right there, look. Right above. The underneath. The underneath the layer of background. How is that fair? They can still hit me while they're there as well. Although it does seem that the, the poops destroy the stalagmites pretty quick. What? Sit here, I should be fine. Anyways, this has been an interesting run indeed. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Um, glad that we got another character unlocked and prosperity unlocked there. And yeah, very good stuff indeed. I will see you guys in the next one.